Bridge also offers something called review mode. So if you want to take a bunch of images and review and analyze them, you can whittle them down to a collection, which you would then look to progress further. So if I just press command and A or control A on a keyboard, that can also be found under edit and select all. With all of the artwork selected in this folder now, I can go to the view menu and choose review mode. Now this takes us into a full screen carousel. The first image in the folder is then front and center. And we only have at the moment just the file name shown in there as well as the thumbnail. So if the idea of this is for me to pick out summer based images, then well, I might keep that one. That's fine. And then if I want to analyze the next image, I would then tap the right cursor key. So this one here, yeah, that might have some potential as a beach image, which is fine. And not so much that one. So I'm going to reject this one from the review by tapping the down cursor key. And then I will, yeah, I'll progress this one. That looks like nice and summary. Uh, all of these images are as well. So I can just keep tapping the right cursor key. If I accidentally tap the down arrow to reject an image from the review, well, you can just tap the up arrow key and it puts it back in again for you. So I don't need the iPad. I don't need the autumnal image or this um, very stark looking image of the ocean, uh, all these castle images. So I'm just tapping down the cursor key here and I'll remove these images as well. That's looking very wintry uh, and that one, but I'll keep the uh, beach images in here. They look like they're going to be well served for summer images and I'll keep the logo, of course, get rid of the mountains. So I'm now at a point where I have a collection of images and that's all well and good, but it's stuck in a review mode. If I want to do something with them, then I go down to the bottom of the screen and click on the folder icon to add these images into a new collection. I'll call this summer range and then click on save. And then it takes us into the actual collection. So notice up here now, it tells me in what's called the breakroom trail on my computer, on the hard drive, the user, my login, that we are now in the collection. And if you're very patient and hover your cursor over the name of that collection, it will give you the route in the form of a tooltip. So to find that collection, you go down to quite simply the collections tab. And here it is, summer range 20. That means that we have 20 images in this collection. So now we have the makings of an asset library for a project. So I could go back to the desktop and then into my intro folder and then into, let's have a look at bonus. Now, if there are some summary type images in here that I wish to use, then I can add them as well. So if I grab this picture of the lighthouse, click and hold down the mouse and drag, it will move the thumbnail over and I can drop it onto summer range. And now notice that we have 21 images. Now it's not moving anything physically from the hard drive. All that I am doing is browsing accessible folders or network areas on my computer and I'm adding it into a virtual collection. So it's almost kind of creating a folder with hyperlinks to those files. If I scroll down a bit further and see if there's any other candidates in here, well, yeah, let's grab the surfboard, drag and drop that in there. And then um, let, let's take the parakeet in there as well and drop that in as well. So now if I click on summer range, it takes me back into the collection and notice that those images were of course in separate folders. So this image here, the parakeet, separate folders, but now I have a virtual folder with them all in. So it's a really handy way of trying to build up assets that are maybe scattered across the network. And rather than having to kind of fish for them, going from one folder and one network drive to another, create your collection. And then from here, you can access them quickly and easily. If there's an image you don't wish to include in the collection, you've changed your mind. You can always click on the thumbnail, choose remove from collection. And now it tells us that you have 22 images and not 23. And at any point in the future, when you've done with those assets for a particular project, you make sure it's highlighted in the list in there in the collections tab and go down to the bottom and there is a delete collection. Again, all it will do is just remove the hyperlinks to those images. The images will stay exactly where they are in those source folders and no images will be harmed in the making of your projects. So that is review mode and collections.